Everybody's running and the world is getting so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some brains. Better hurry up, just got some days. Playing games, hanging out, rolling closer, there's no doubt. It's just me. So today they announced the yearbook superlatives. You know, the bests and mosts. Well, we all got voted something except for guess who? Oh yeah, that's right, me. Not even best shaped head or most likely to flinch. <laughs> I'm gonna have best brain monogrammed on all my personal belongings. I'm gonna have most athletic tattooed on my face. Oh, man, I was gonna do that, only with best shoes. Why would you want to tattoo best shoes on my face? Yeah, I'm um, hi. Your old pal Tino here, the big, fat, stupid loser. You're not fat. Man, I can't believe you didn't even get best Tino. Yeah, you totally got robbed by Tino Rabinowitz. Yeah, uh, Mr. Hassenfeld, did you know I didn't get voted anything? Now, Tino, you're not the only one. Wait, yes, you are. I demand a recount. We'll see. Tino, these yearbook superlatives mean nothing in the greater scheme of things. Yeah, it's no big deal that we're all gonna have best or most under our pictures. <laughs> I can't hold back anymore! Who's the best? We are! Three toad slots. When are they gonna do something cute? When are they gonna do anything? It says here, a male sloth may live in one tree his whole life. I might as well be that sloth. I have done nothing memorable in my entire life. I am the sloth. The sloth is I. I am one with the sloth. He's losing it. What will I be remembered for? What will be my legacy? Oh, I just love your fabulous new line of shoes, Mr. Descartes. Tish, your book on advanced astrophysics was positively mm. gripping. Lore, congratulations on winning the quintavalon at the Mars Nanosports Games. Hey, Tino! Hey, what have you been up to? Oh, big stuff, big stuff. Heavy deals going down. Still selling nonstick muffin pans door to door? Yeah. But hey, I sold a muffin pan to President Schwenderman. And there he is now. I've been president for months. When do I get my white horse? That's White House, sir. Oh, can I have another cookie? Ugh, I can't let this happen. From this day forward, I will start my life anew. I will no longer be a nobody. I will focus all my energies on getting voted best... Mm, something next year and let it be known i will never eat muffins again hey get down off the wall you're panicking the sloths try the new earth friendly chugga freeze flavors saving the planet one sip at a time Dolphin safe lime? No nukes cuke? Recycle berry? Tina, what flavor are you getting? I don't have time for food. My life is hanging in the balance. This is the list of all the bests and mosts on the ballot, and I've got to figure out what I'm going to get voted next year. How about most likely to obsess over trivialities? Well, Chloe Montez always wins that. Oh, man. 
I can totally get this one. Best a smile. Did you sprain a face muscle? You guys are no help. Let me try it out on some unjaded people. Hey, Bluke. Hey, Tino. How about Best Whistler? <laughs> I mean... Okay, and how will you be paying for those? Perfect! Most likely to work in a topiary garden. So... What do you think of my shrub sculpture? Um... Hey, guys. I thought you might want some frosty spirulina frappes. Oh! <laughs> my myrtle! It's my first topiary masterpiece. But what is it? I think I'd call it an octopig. <laughs> Mom? I'm sorry I mangled your myrtle. Yeah, well, you're forgiven. I'm not sure I believe that, considering you're feeding me purple food with yellow spots. Honey, listen. I'm sorry you didn't get voted best or most anything, but you really do have lots of great qualities. They just don't happen to be on that list. Which is exactly the problem. You just have to be the best Tino you can be. Did I mention I didn't even get best Tino? Ooh, that's harsh. I gotta get voted something, Mom. And at this rate, it looks like it's going to be most likely to starve. Many cultures enjoy milk from animals other than cows. In Mongolia, for instance, horses provide transportation and beverages. So please enjoy Mare's Milk. Straight from the horse's mom. You first. I'm mare's milk intolerant. Yes! I found the perfect best. One that requires no skill or talent, just raw determination and an iron will. I will be best physique. <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah, you right. You gotta be kidding. I'm so glad you're all behind me on this one. Sorry, Tino. It's just that you aren't exactly, you know... Buff. Yeah, T. Sideways, you're kind of shaped like a lollipop. And I can say that because sideways, I'm shaped like a paintbrush. Don't you get it? This is one thing I can actually win. All I have to do is work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and in no time, I'll have a body of Herculean proportions. Herculean? It's all about force of will. You know, mind over matter. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, matter one, mind nothing. This is great. I'll be ripped in no time. I'm gonna start my workout. Great. We're gonna stay right here and work out on your free 10 pounds of fudge. felt <gasps> great. Can you see a difference? Is it possible you're even scrawnier? Well, I may have sweated off a few pounds, but tomorrow I'll get in another eight hours and then you'll see a difference. Another eight hours? Dude, that was only like five minutes. Good. <laughs> Look, you guys take off. I got a lot of work to do. I'm getting best physique if it kills me, which it might. Okay. Suit yourself. Don't get hurt. And how may we help you achieve your personal fitness goals today? Remind me how to breathe. Guys, we gotta get Tino off this best physique thing before he hurts himself. <laughs> Woohoo! Dig me! The problem is, 
Tino thinks if he's not good at something on that list, he's not good at anything. Maybe we could show him what he is good at. Which would be... Hmm. He's good at... Okay. We super can't tell him we had to think this hard. Oh, yeah. You got that right. Hey, Mom. These guys helped me with my workout, and now I can't move. Don't worry. This is fairly typical for the first day of training. When I started out, I couldn't straighten my arms for six weeks. That's encouraging. Guess I'll just have to spoon feed you your kelp loaf like when you were a baby. That is so cute. Great. Ow. 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 Oh, man, you don't look so good. Oh, everything hurts. Even my socks. Maybe this will make you feel better. We all put our heads together and figured out what you really are best at. And we decided that you deserve this. The Best Friend Award. Oh, great. My very own pity party. Just shut up for a minute and let us tell you why you're such a great friend. Laura, you go. Well, remember the time I spilled a chug of freeze all over my history book and you helped me blow dry every single page? Ah, you would have done the same for me. <laughs> yeah, right! And there was that time I was trying out for the Merchant of Venice and you actually wore tights to help me prepare. That doesn't leave this room. And I'll never forget when I spent all my money on shoes and you paid for my chili fries the whole weekend. That's every weekend? Which is why I'll never forget it. Tino, okay, maybe our award won't be in the yearbook, but you're the best friend any of us has ever had. Everyone will forget who is best smile and best hair by next year, but a best friend is forever. Thanks, guys. I wouldn't trade your award for all the superlatives in the yearbook, but I would trade it for the ability to unbend my arms. That's fair enough. I was planning on using these ears today. Tino, I did that recount you asked for, and it turns out you got one write-in vote. In next year's yearbook, you're going to be listed as most sarcastic. Yay! Yay! Just perfect. Oh, yeah. That is exactly how I wanted to be remembered. <laughs> Later days. Yeah, nice picture. 